Welcome back. We are here on Etoro looking at the commodities market and the precious metal market. And it's going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, February 9th, 2021. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we uh, rallied traditionally um, earlier in the session and then we fell. So this is looking more promising. I was hoping for uh, this pullback that we got late in the session. Technical negatives are turning around for the US dollar index, and this could be a very bullish shine for commodities, precious metals, um, indices, and so on. So indices are expected to pull back. They are getting very overstretched. And uh, the question here will be whether or not we manage to break through the 20 and the 50 moving average in order to go to these previous uh, lows. So we have rallied above the 50 and the 20 in the past and we have broken back down this has been a fairly big rally uh, considering how far we have fallen the us dollar index it is similar to this rally here and also this one uh, this one is a little bit longer to be balanced uh, but if we fall below the 50 then we're heading back towards these very lows at 89.14 and then beyond that technical indicators are turning around so we may see this Across the 20 and the 50 exponential and the 50 moving average. So let's look at oil. So oil is reaching ridiculous levels, to be fair and honest. Um, I have been thinking about basically starting uh, selling oil. Target here is 55 or probably all the way down towards uh, 53.6. Uh, but it has actually been rallying outside of the Bollinger Band for the last five days. That is astonishing, to be fairly honest. Um, so there are a few things. Expectations that things will technically go to normal. Uh, stimulus, for example, uh, vaccine news, and so on. Uh, technically speculation, because it's not the world economy that is you know, doing really well. So it's not demand that is driving this. Probably uh, a cut in supply is also one of the reasons, but uh, at the moment, this is not sustainable. For example, to be in a pandemic and have oil basically crossing uh, uh, 79 in the RSI and being way outside of the bullish path, that is just a recipe for this disaster. We could stretch this to, to, uh, to 60. That only means that the drop will be even bigger. So at this point, I do think that we'll drop towards roughly this previous highs here. That is, uh, give or take, around uh, 53.60 uh, before we continue higher. So 60 is taking the target here, and we most likely will see a major pullback at 60. So let's look at natural gas. So we have uh, tried to rally up towards the top of the bullish band and then broke down yet again. And at this point, it is looking fairly dire for, for um, natural gas. So if weather conditions continue to be very cold, uh, then we could push this above $3. But this is probably as far as we will go at this point. At this point, at least. We could pull back towards the 20 exponential and then bounce back towards the $3 range. Technical indicators are turning around at this point, uh, but uh, at this point, yes, you basically have to see. If the 20 exponential is holding, then it could be actually a buying opportunity. So let's look at copper. So as you can see, we have rallied from the very lows here of the Bollinger Band of 3.49, and we're trading at the 3.67. So 3.7 is our target. We expect a pullback towards the middle of the Bollinger Band at 3.6 uh, when that occur. Technical indicators are looking very bullish for copper. And if we have a drop in the US dollar, then that will even uh, fuel this even more. So target 3.7, pull back towards the 3.6. That is your buying opportunity with a stop loss right underneath here. So let's look at gold. So gold has basically been all over the place. So um, it did break out of the triangle. We do have a, a resistant line that goes uh, something like uh, this. You can put it a little more down like this. 
So we are rallying here. We had a major drop when we broke out of the uh, out of the triangle outside of the Bollinger Band. But at this point, what I have been fearing is that we are rallying up towards the 20 exponential moving average here at 1841 and we are getting rejected. So we could see a rally here and then just drop even further down. So due to the fact that we broke through the triangle to the downside, it is expected for, for, for gold to continue breaking down to the downside. So we have the channel right here. So this could be the lower part of the channel. This could be the upper part of the channel. So rally up towards this channel and rejections, we could see this drop all the way down to 1700. That is possible. People are pumping money into uh, cryptocurrencies instead of gold, as it seems, uh, for their safe haven. So that could be a reason why demand for gold isn't, that high, isn't as high as it usually is when we have uh, um, economic, economic downturns. So people are not turning to gold as safe havens. They are turning to Bitcoin for a safe haven. So that could be one of the reasons. Uh, it is really strange that we haven't seen a massive rally in gold because of all the printing that's occurring and all of the stimulus and so on. So, so usually that means that people go towards gold and this rallies, but that is not what we're seeing. We're seeing technically a downtrend here. We are in the upper part of this uh, of this downtrend. We could drop as low as seventeen hundred. So let's look at let's look at silver. So we did have this massive rally here due to uh, the Reddit uh, the Reddit um, gang pumping up this market. We broke down and now we found support here at twenty moving average and now we're rallying again. We're trading at 27. We are most likely going to go higher. If we manage to take out uh, 27 or 28, then we can go to uh, 30 um, and beyond that 35 and 40. So pullbacks towards the 20 exponential or the 20 moving average here in the middle, middle of the bullion band, that is buying opportunities. We could also fall all the way down to the 50 moving average at 25.30, 30, 40, and that is an even better buying opportunity at this point. So let's look at Platinum. So Platinum just absolutely exploded to the upside today. Um, technical indicators are still very bullish. We are significantly outside here with the bullish band. So expect a pullback towards uh, at least uh, 1,100, give or take 11.00 uh, before we continue this rally. So something similar to this, we could fall all the way down to the 50 moving average when it come, becomes this parabolical. But yes, a massive move to the upside. Pullbacks at this point towards the 20 exponential moving average or the 50 are major buying opportunities. So let's look at Pallium. So yes, we are still trading within this square. We're going to get rid of this. We are still trading within this... Um, Square, the highs are being the 2.5, lows being 2.2, and uh, we hit the, you know, the lows in last week, and at this point, we are rallying up towards the 50 moving average. So in order to get to these highs, we need to break the 50 moving average and start trading get above that. A re uh, rejection here will fall back towards the 2.2, and then we may have another try. Usually it stays at a 50 for some time. So we could see a just a back and forward here and between the 20 exponential and the 50 for the next few days before it takes out to the upside. But the movement of this has been rally up towards the top, breakdown, rally, breakdown, and it has been trading sideways like this all the way back to August. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium has tried to rally today and has broken back down. We're trading at 2015 at this point. Technical indicators are still bullish. There's a lot of room to the upside. So a pullback towards the 50 or the 20 exponential are to be uh, buying opportunities. We could actually fall back towards these previous lows, but it is uh, not very likely, but we could do that. 
If we drop towards uh, 1940, then that is also a buying opportunity. Um, rallies from here, targets of, of maximum of 2072, that is going to be where we'll see a pullback in aluminium. So let's look at nickel. So we can see that we have dropped towards the 50 moving average. We rallied uh, on Friday. We continue to rally today. And the target here is 18,436. Pullbacks from here to the 20 moving uh, exponential moving average of roughly 17,772. That is a buying opportunity. And also the 50 moving average here is 17,339. That is also a buying opportunity. These previous highs over here will act also as, as um, support. So pull back towards this area here. That is your buying opportunity towards these previous highs. So let's look at sugar. So as you can see, we have started to pull back here. If we pull back towards the 20 exponential, that is a buying opportunity. If we break below this, then the previous lows here, which also are the previous highs over here of roughly 15.52, that is probably as far as this market will go. If we get there, not very likely at this point. I think that the 20 exponential is going to be uh, very supportive. We are going, coming into the months where demand for this commodity is going to be significantly high and therefore it is expected for the prices to increase. Technical indicators are either flat or bullish at this point. So let's look at cotton. So as you can see, we pulled back on Friday and rallied significantly today. I was hoping a pullback towards the 20 exponential in order to buy into this. Um, we have to wait for that. So we have rallied. I am hoping still for a pullback towards the 20 exponential at 0 0.8096 um, uh, to buy it here. Just too risky to be very honest. I do expect this to fall at least to half around the same area here at the previous highs over here. So roughly uh, 0 0.82, 26, that is most likely where we'll see buyers come back in, but still, if you get down to the 20 exponential, then that is the optimal entry point for a buy. Technical indicators are looking very bullish at this point. So yes, we are continuing this uptrend. So let's look at Kakoa. It is just the same story. We have the highs here at 2.8, lows here at 2.2, and then we have this medium range here roughly 2.6 down to the 200 moving average here 2.4 and still we have tried to rally break down try to rally break down and at this point there is no reason to enter this market it's just a complete gamble uh, i do favor the upside to be very honest due to the fact that we are entering months that where uh, demand for uh, this kind of commodity is going to increase and uh, we are going to see is most likely head towards 2.75. It just looks like it's going to take forever at this point. So let's look at cocoa. No, not cocoa, wheat, sorry. As you can see, we have rallied. So uh, we hit the bottom here at the 50 moving average. We have rallied above the 20 exponential moving average, trading at the 656 at this point. Target are the previous highs here at 668, and then the all time highs here at 3. Uh, 691. So pullbacks towards the 20 exponential is a buying opportunity. We may see a pullback around this area here, and then we'll go and target these highs here. So technical indicators are very bullish at this point. Uh, MACD is the only one that is uh, missing to cross the signal line. Otherwise, it is looking very promising for wheat. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to write to me on Patreon. Um, if you have any questions about this analysis, otherwise, good luck and thank you very much.